SpaceX is prepared for the second launch of Starship, said to be the most powerful rocket ever built. The rocket is stationed and ready for liftoff at their Starbase facility in South Texas, according to Musk. Before we delve into the details, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any updates related to this exciting second Starship launch. Now the only thing left for this flight to happen is to finalize approvals with regulatory authorities, including securing clearance from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. But as with any regulatory process, it might not be as speedy as Musk would prefer. The FAA, represented by Acting Administrator Polly Trottenberg, mentioned that they're in productive talks and are aiming for a thumbs up sometime next month. Back on September 8th, the FAA concluded their investigation into Starship's first flight back on April 20th. This whole episode triggered a comprehensive FAA investigation resulting in 63 corrective actions for SpaceX. They've been busy addressing these, especially concerning the Raptor engines. SpaceX has made modifications like installing methane sensors in each engine and improving fire suppression systems on Ship 25 and Booster 9. Speaking of Booster 9, they've loaded it up with upgrades. SpaceX is now equipping it with additional sensors and sealing up valves and flanges to minimize propellant leaks. There's even a whopping 90-plus cameras on board to keep a keen eye out for any issues during flight or ground tests. They've also beefed up their flight termination system, essentially a fail-safe to ensure all parts are functioning correctly and to ensure a safe destruction of the vehicle if needed during operation. In the spirit of improvements, SpaceX has also added better insulation to the avionics harnesses on both the booster and the ship. Plus, they've reorganized the wire harnesses heading to the flight computer, making everything more streamlined and efficient. Though testing on Ship 25 and Booster 9 post-stacking hasn't happened yet, the plan ahead likely involves a cryogenic test on the ship to verify the quick disconnect after modifications. As for a wet dress rehearsal before the second flight, that's still up in the air as Starbase plans can flex and adapt as launch time inches closer. There's a reason SpaceX hasn't gone full throttle on cryo testing. The installation of the third tank on the water deluge system needed completion first. The deluge system is a noteworthy upgrade to the pad systems and was initially part of the plan before the maiden launch. It'll help mitigate the rock tornado effect witnessed during liftoff. Musk has made it clear that the vehicle is raring to go, but they're playing the waiting game for the FAA's license approval. You can catch live glimpses from the launch site, adding to the anticipation. The work platform, a pivotal part of engine prep, was taken back after being lowered from under the orbital launch mount. It's a strong indication that engine work is wrapping up and getting prepped for additional testing or flight. Tests like igniter tests and the FireX system have already been checked off the to-do list. However, recent reports suggest that the FAA might not give the green light until at least October, prompting the destacking of Ship 25. There's no need for road closures, though, which means Ship 25 gets to hang out next to the booster for now. SpaceX, true to form, has been keeping things under wraps regarding the pre-launch activities, offering just a glimpse of their workforce in a group photo. In some recent exciting news, though, the Pentagon has inked its first official contract with Musk's SpaceX for their Starshield network. This version is tailor-made for military use and is essentially a spin-off of SpaceX's well-known Starlink satellite internet system. The defense agency confirmed this contract on September 1st, awarding SpaceX a year-long deal with a potential value of up to $70 million. Alongside SpaceX, 18 other companies also clinched contracts through a program run by the Space Force's Commercial Satellite Communications Office. This contract covers a comprehensive Starshield service using the Starlink constellation, offering user terminals, supporting equipment, network management, and related services. Starshield is SpaceX's dedicated offering aimed at enhancing national security boasting features distinct from their Starlink network meant for consumers and enterprises. SpaceX has been somewhat tight-lipped about the nitty-gritty of Starshield's capabilities and scope. However, they're marketing it as a one-stop solution catering specifically to national security needs. The Pentagon, which already values SpaceX's rocket launches, has shown growing interest in their Starlink satellite internet, making this contract a natural progression.
This isn't SpaceX's first tango with the Pentagon. They previously secured a contract in June for undisclosed quantities of Starlink ground terminals to be used in Ukraine. As part of the initial phase of the Starshield contract, SpaceX has received $15 million by September 30th. And it's not just the Pentagon that's taking SpaceX to new heights. NASA's been brewing excitement for years, too, gearing up to launch a shiny new spacecraft on an interstellar journey to explore the fascinatingly metal-rich asteroid Psyche. After a year-long holdup, the eagerly anticipated liftoff might finally happen on October 5th, courtesy of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. In 2022, a pesky software glitch caused a delay, pushing the mission to this year after the launch window closed shop in October. The target in the vast cosmic expanse is officially tagged as 16 Psyche, and it's quite the celestial oddball. It's a potato-shaped asteroid with a whopping 173-mile diameter at its widest point. NASA's got its bets on the composition, suggesting it could be a hefty 60% iron-nickel metals, a peculiarly high ratio that has some scientists speculating Psyche might be a relic chunk from a bygone planet's core. While NASA's not planning to pull an asteroid mining gig, the treasure trove of data from this mission might give us a better grasp of its potential value. Some jaw-dropping estimates have thrown numbers around like a mind-boggling $10,000 quadrillion. But the real cosmic curiosity lies in using Psyche as a cosmic mirror to Earth's core, an enigma so close yet so out of reach. Psyche doesn't swing by our neck of the cosmic woods, it hangs out in the space between Mars and Jupiter. To reach this metallic marvel, the Psyche spacecraft will clock in a six-year, 2.5 billion mile journey. During this odyssey, the spacecraft will play guinea pig for cutting-edge laser communications tech, an experiment never before attempted in deep space. This optical communication system could ramp up data transmission speeds by 10 to 100 times compared to current radio systems. Imagine streaming video in the void. This nifty experiment might set the groundwork for a space-age interplanetary broadband network, a tech dream primed for astronauts bound for Mars. Last week's update from NASA revealed the Psyche spacecraft has aced its tests and is all fueled up, revving for launch. NASA and SpaceX have their sights set on October 5th at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. In case the universe throws a curveball, there are backup launch slots up until October 25th. For those of us Earthbound, NASA and SpaceX are thankfully live-streaming this awe-inspiring journey into the unknown. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more all the SpaceX updates you'll need.